Good afternoon, fine people of the internet. Welcome back to Maverick Baking and welcome back to what may potentially be an incredibly bizarre food review. <laughs> Today we are talking about a relatively new product that has hit UK confectionery aisle shelves and I'm still not convinced about its very existence. <laughs> of course, if you're new to the channel, do consider subscribing for more food reviews, recipes, challenges, vlogs, all sorts. I never stop talking. <laughs> Today we are talking about a new product from Swizzles. Yes, the kind of people who make the kind of fizzy sweets and lollies and the things, wherever this is. They have ventured into the world of chocolate bars and dear God, I hope you're ready. <laughs> They've made drumstick chocolate. Now, for any viewers over the age of, you know, nine, or any non-UK viewers, a uh, drumstick made by Swizzles is a chewy milk and raspberry flavoured lolly. Comes on a little stick. Absolute tooth wrecker. A dentist's nightmare, but they taste delicious. They also come in a little kind of squashy form, which I actually love because I do love the flavour of a drumstick. And for some reason, we have now just decided to take the concept of the kind of drumstick or anything on a stick and put it in a chocolate bar. And I don't really know why. <laughs> the drumstick is a very, very, very sickly sweet flavoured thing. Raspberry and milk, you know, it works in foamy sweets and chewy sweets. Does it work in chocolate? I hope so, because I've already spent money on this. So what you can expect if you too have spent your money on this bar is a delicious milk chocolate with a raspberry and milk centre and freeze-dried raspberry pieces. Now, I'll give them that. That's a little bit innovative, a little bit of balance with texture. We like that. But Swizzles aren't really known as being a huge chocolate company here in the UK, so I have my suspicion. I present to you an extremely boring looking chocolate bar. <laughs> this, you know, the packaging was good and I'll give them that. It was definitely eye-catching. The bar? That looks like any kind of basic cartoon chocolate bar and it smells like a cavity. <laughs> they could have put some effort into the appearance, you know, they could have put some swirls of pink or some white, maybe made some of those little raspberry pieces visible, but everything is just totally brown. The smell is immediately raspberry -y. I don't know if it smells like a drumstick per se, but it smells like a kind of kid's raspberry yogurt, if that makes any sense, a kind of raspberry, or even like one of those diet raspberry mousse things that your mum would have eaten in the early noughties, or maybe still does. Say hi to your mum. But the filling looks like it's going to be this kind of semi-creamy, semi-crumbly pink stuff. There's a little kind of hint of those raspberry pieces in there, and it definitely smells more raspberry-y than anything else. Shall we see if the drumstick bar is worth your money? Oh, that is softer than I wanted. Interesting. It's not as life-ruiningly clashing as I expected it to be. But I have to admit, against my own will, <laughs> that this is better than I expected. That filling is gloriously creamy. If you're not into sweets or very sweet chocolate, this may be a bit off-putting for you because it is mega sweet. The chocolate has absolutely no snap to it, which I don't like. It's very soft. It's very kind of crumbly. It is not warm in this room right now, let me promise you that. And yet the chocolate feels like it's already kind of half melting, you know, as if it was like 25 degrees outside or something like that. It's like 11 degrees here in Scotland today. <laughs> so the chocolate's texture isn't great. The filling's texture, however, is wonderfully creamy. It tastes milky. It tastes raspberry-y. There's the slightest slightest little hint of textural and flavour change in those raspberry pieces, but very, very subtle. But you know what? My honest expectation of this bar was that it would be hyper sweet, nauseatingly artificial, clashing with the chocolate, and just overall a novelty, but an unpleasant one. <laughs> that is none of those things to be perfectly honest. Very sweet, texture's a bit too soft, but otherwise the raspberry and milky flavour is absolutely there and it works with the chocolate. The chocolate, again, could benefit from maybe being the slightest bit darker just to balance it out, but you taste everything. You taste every flavour, you taste them independently and they all work together. And it does 
even though it lacks the texture of the drumstick lolly or the drumstick squashy as a sweet, it tastes like a drumstick. Even without having seen the branding, it is that iconic raspberry and milk flavor, not raspberry and white chocolate, which you can get anywhere, or, you know, raspberry and cream. It's a specifically kind of dairy and raspberry flavor that tastes exactly like post-Halloween sweet munching, you know, on drumstick lollies. They've nailed that in terms of flavor. And the tiny raspberry pieces kind of help keep it from being too horribly artificial. You know, artificial caramel flavors, artificial coffee flavors, they taste synthetic in your mouth. And artificial raspberry can do the same. Because of those little pieces, that's really mellowed out and tastes like actual raspberry. I am disappointed in myself for conceding, <laughs> but I am genuinely quite impressed by this bar of chocolate. It is by no means the highest quality chocolate, you know, when we're talking about the actual chocolate bar, it's fairly trashy in taste and texture, but the filling, the gimmick, the novelty, they've nailed it. They've absolutely nailed it, and they've done it in a way that doesn't taste like pure filthy trash either, if that makes sense. I'm impressed. If you like drumstick lollies, if you like kind of chocolate and raspberry together, or any kind of fruity chocolate, I would absolutely recommend trying this if you see it. If anything, just for the nostalgia of it as well. Genuinely surprised, genuinely impressed, and for what it is, with only the chocolate knocking it down, I'm gonna give that a solid four out of five. If you guys have tasted or seen this drumstick chocolate bar and kind of either bought it out of curiosity or stayed well away out of self-preservation. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. I'd love to know what you think of this. I think it has been around for a while. It's just taken a bit of time to get to shops all over the country. But I would love to know your thoughts because I am surprised. If you guys enjoyed today's video, do consider tapping that like button. It would be ever so kind before you leave. And don't forget, you can always help support the channel on Patreon if you're feeling that way inclined. It really helps out with all the new product purchases and just keeping these videos coming to you guys twice every week. In the meantime, that is all I have time for today. Thank you so, so much for being here as ever, and I'll see you for the next one.